What's up everybody? My name is Arcagus, and this is a very special video for me. Almost 15 years ago, I started my YouTube journey with a Minecraft video. I would go on to play, record, and stream a broad spectrum of games, from EverQuest to WoW, from Assassin's Creed to Ark. But in those early years, Minecraft was my first widely viewed gaming video series, the most notable of which was when I played the original Terra Firma Craft for Minecraft 1.7. I'm an engineer by trade, and TFC was my first immersive realism mod in Minecraft, and it's what kept me coming back to Minecraft in those early days. When Minecraft moved past 1.7, I waited eagerly for an updated TFC to come out, and in the subsequent years that followed, I discovered other similarly suited realism mods, like Tinker's Construct and Immersive Engineering, and I became equally enamored with them. I began to play those mods religiously throughout the later years until my other pursuits ultimately pulled me away from Minecraft altogether. The Minecraft versions are in the 20s now, and the last time I played was around the .18 or .19 era. I'm not keen on what has been updated or how the game has evolved in the recent versions, but when I heard that TFC has finally returned and in its full original 1.7 glory, I had to come back and try it out. While preparing for this video, I found Terra Firma Greg. Shout out to Hecuba on YouTube. I never heard of Greg Tech before, but listening to Hecuba lament about getting into the Steam Age, I felt behooved to go with this mod pack for my inaugural return to TFC and ultra realistic Minecraft. So here's my first look and reaction to playing Terra Firma Greg for Minecraft 1.20.1. So I don't know if I need to update anything on this or not. I just downloaded the version that's available on CurseForge and I don't know anything about the game, about if it needs to be updated or if it needs to be st stuck at the versions of the mods that it's using or else they'll break. So uh, I haven't touched any of that yet. If, uh, if this is something I, I decide I want to do more of, then we'll probably get into that sort of thing where we are updating the mods to the latest or best possible versions as well as um, maybe adding some additional mods in there and maybe customizing this experience more to our liking. One thing this uh, mod is missing, well I wouldn't say missing, but one thing that this mod doesn't have that I love is immersive engineering. I, this is the first time in years I've played Minecraft at all without that mod as part of my stack, so... We'll see how, how far I get before I start to miss it. What did I pick up? I picked up this. What is this? Fallen Maple Leaves. Birch to the leaves. You can just kind of pick those up. Or can you? Yeah. So why can you pick those up and not the others? Quests. Where do we start? start so do I need to collect clay balls 
Here, Terraformer Greg Mod Pack. Thank you for choosing our Mod Pack. All right, no rewards. The fun starts right now. May this world be blessed with your existence. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, find any sticks. We did that. Whoop. Is it supposed to be off the... Well, if I expand it, then you won't be able to see. All right, let's just click it past that. I think that's just... Okay, find any seeds. Get any raw meat. Get any fried meat. All right. Rock and stone. Collect some stones and sticks for future development. Okay, we have all the sticks. We need more pebbles. Okay, we completed that quest. Okay. Now, we have basic crafting. I'm assuming these are going to make some sort of twine. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's go back into quests. All right, so from here we can start to make tools. All right. A stone axe. We need to make a stone axe head. So we need to nap out this shape using the stones. How do we nap? Do we just use the stones? Yes. Alright. And then it's a stone axe head and a stick. Stone axe. So there's no... There's no twine yet, I guess. Okay, well. There's that. do that. E is what we want. All right. So, quests. Use an axe to collect some wood. I would like to remind you that logs cannot be obtained by hand. Coal pits. Get your first coal. Wait, why is it needed? All right. So, coal pits. Get your first coal. Create a charcoal pit, you will need to lots and lots of wood. First, dig a hole one block deep. You can go deeper if the amount of wood allows. Afterwards, using shift plus right mouse button, click on any block in the hole. You'll have an armful of logs. You can fill it by right clicking with a log in your hand on the armful, or simply open the interface and fill it manually. The amount of coal subsequently obtained depends on the number of trees in the armful. Okay, so let's Okay, weird. I don't 
know if moss is important or not, but I like I like these stones. Ooh, what's that stone? Careful. Is that a boulder? I think it's a boulder. Okay. It's copper. Ooh. Just lying on the ground. We are rich. Okay. Oh, there's so much, so much I want to try and understand. Okay. We, first, we need to chop down wood. But I'm thinking this is important too, so I want to stop doing that. Quest. We want to... Huh? Huh? All right, we're in the primitive age. We need to stay here. I don't know how I got in that other thing. All right, so plow the ground. Harvest your first harvest. All right, so let's make a stone hoe. Oh, you can make two hoe heads. seawater in this. Okay, I think that's fresh water. So... Wow, that's a lot of information. Hydration, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, Holy crap. Oh, I forgot how awesome this is. Okay. I think I heard something fall. I don't know if I need this much stone or not. Is that a person? Oh no, it's a stalactite hanging from nothing. All right, so can I just... So it's not a plant. And it's not using my hoe. some sort of wheat. So no seeds are going to come from that. Lots of copper though. I don't know when we're going to be able to get into that. Okay, so... We have an axe, we should use it. Stop collecting the things. This is the copper. Do I want to mark the copper? How's the map? Or how do you leave a waypoint? Unset, zoom in. Copper nuggets. Make it copper colored. Well, gold color is fine. Okay. Now, does it matter where we chop the tree? 
to fill the whole tree. So if I just cut here, took a little part of the X, but it behooves you to start at the bottom. But man, axes take forever, especially the starting stone axe. Actually, that didn't take so long. So is it defined by how much of the tree there is above it? Sun's going down. We don't even have a torch. the torch okay front of lighter wooden rods how do we make wooden rods wooden rods are produced from sticks oh we have sticks okay Man, we are so going to die. Okay, a fire, but not an ordinary one. Format error. <laughs> Format error. Okay, throw three sticks in and one log onto the block. Then move the mouse cursor over the block and use a primitive lighter. Okay. So, okay, so throw three sticks. I can't even see. And a log. No, it just picks them up again. Can I make a torch? He threw it again. Stop it. I hit Q when I mean, need to hit E. What is Q? Why is Q? Why am I hitting Q? <sighs> no, you need a fire. need a fire to create so it says okay that worked so there's some red things over there this is Probably not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Don't burn my tree.
Oh. Well, I feel like I learned important information from that. All right, that should be better. Survive the night. Have a wait for it. Oh, we found some seeds. Okay, so we can't right click to harvest. We have to left click. We're going to focus on birch. We're just we're only going to cut down birch. So we don't have to worry about managing multiple wood types. Although, is there a difference? Is ash softer than birch? I think birch is pretty soft, based on my real life experience. I don't know how much that applies to Minecraft. Right, I have 16 logs. See if we can figure out how to make a shovel. Okay, so the axe head is Orientation matters, and it's different from the axe orientation. No, don't do that. All right. So we're gonna start over here. I'm going to dig out an area right in here. Shift plus right mouse button. Click on any block in the hole. Okay. Okay, so I got 16 experts logs in there. I need a lot more logs. Alright, I don't know if this is happening because... I don't know if 16 is the max you can put in one square or if um, you can only put as many as you're holding in one square and I need to be holding more when I do this. So we're going to try and get some more. I'm thinking 16 is the max you can hold.
And if you shift click, it'll put all of them. All right, so we still need many more. Sun's going down again, and we still haven't made our old fire. We should probably work on that next. Wow, sun goes down so fast. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to take so long to work on. Work on the charcoal. I thought this was actually going to help us with our fire, actually. You know, there's a pit right here somewhere. I need to be careful. I know I'm surrounded by, like... To it. This is dangerous. I just want to be someplace I can be relatively safe. And we'll just kind of park here until sun up. All right. Okay. Sun's come up. I've been reading through this book that I found in my hand. And uh, we've got. I feel like I have a little bit more knowledge now about how I should be starting. I still need more wood. I still need a lot more wood, but I want to work on the fire first. And because the uh, this pit's not going to help me with that anytime soon, I'm going to come back to it. But I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to have a space of about three blocks in between. So that's the edge, one, two, three, and then the next edge. So we'll start digging in here. This is gonna be my fire pit area. So I wanna put down some rock here. through. Now, can I make rock? No. I need something that won't burn. So I can't make a pickaxe yet. Am I hungry yet? Do I need to eat? Three months. There we go. There we go. Maybe if we make the fire pit the right way, it won't be dangerous. It won't be spreading. So it's one. No. One, two, three, and then why? Finally started working. Can we cook the beets? So I can only cook one thing at a time. Wow. 
Why did that happen? So we got our fire. Try to kill some animal and get some meat from it. All right, so to do that, we need to nap. How was it? It was in the corner. Good shot. I'm kind of dumb, but I'm a good shot. Fire through grass. Right, we got some meat. fried meat. Doesn't fill you up, but it's good. And once it's cooked, it lasts for a month. What is this? Important information about quests. The quests are still in development. More descriptions and more will be added in the future. You can par partially use the TFC book to find the information you need. Straw hat. You can make a straw hat. Cute hat. That will save you from the heat and scorching sun. Does it really? It's a lot close head. When on head, protects against direct sunlight. Insulation plus one. There's insulation in this game. All right. I'm assuming we need a knife. Oh, napping a knife head. Okay, one down the middle and then the top corners. Keep waiting for something to come crawling out of the darkness to kill me. Oh, there's nothing on my map. There's something on my map. I don't know what it is. find pineapple. Okay, sun's starting to come up. 16. Okay. 
Okay. So they don't have to be the same logs in a pile. That's good to know. Stand guard and read some more of the uh, Terra Firma Craft book. That's this book here. I just haven't looked at this list. Alright, so this is the calendar. This is our nutrition. We are absolutely out of dairy. This is the climate. It's very cold. Fit team's very chilly too. Alright, I'm going to read and we'll come back when the sun's up. Okay, I think it's like the morning of the fifth day. We survived another night with very little. I was reading the book and I realized I am not really advancing the way I should. I should be focusing on clay and taking advantage of the, all this copper I've been finding and using that to speed up the game. So we've got some clay here. We're going to try and start with this. Oh, you can only collect 16 at a time. Got these. What we'll do is we'll dig in a little bit here. Okay, this will be our pit kiln. Now we need what? Eventually we're going to need a pickaxe, right? Which is this. So, we do. so it's the opposite now, right? I think so. Okay, then all we have to do is I thought that would work. It looks like it's trying to work. It did work. I think it ate the Works too. Okay. Oh. Apparently this isn't safe enough. Okay, that'll produce the molds. That should keep the fire from spreading. So we have we need at least 100 millibuckets. So we're going to cast three things that we need. I'm assuming 100 millibuck millibuckets is enough for one thing. With the casting interface open, place your empty fired mold in the center slot. What happened? Why am I taking damage? I'm thirsty. Right? Yeah. So, if this is native cost, so this is really good value or good quality. Three is 48, so one is 16. So I can get the 400 then, right?
400, okay. So 25 makes 400, that's enough for four castings. I've got the axe, the pickaxe, the shovel. There's 400. And I'll just get in there, right? have solidified already how am I supposed to make that work once it stops you have to work fast and it looks like it uses 144 millibars instead of 100. So I don't have enough for four items. So we're going to go pickaxe and we're going to go axe. Okay. Placed items. So I'm assuming placed items don't fail. Like don't despawn or deteriorate. A source of... Oh, it's got a time left on it. I didn't notice that before. Okay. Got it. So once it cools down, I should be able to use it normally again. Huh. So how do I add more to it? I still think that there should be some sort of binding material that allows you to uh, connect. We finally have that mostly sorted. We've got our replacement axe. We've got our pickaxe. I think this is a good place to stop off. Be sure to like, subscribe, and or follow whichever platform you're watching us on. And uh, until next time, be safe. Thanks very much for watching.